Hi everyone and welcome to my day. It is very sunny at the moment but there are big thick black clouds outside and it keeps coming over very very dark and gloomy so it's definitely going to be a rainy and windy day here in the southeast of England. But enough for the weather forecast. I want to give you an update as to what I've done already today and also a little bit of insight as to what's coming up on the channel. So Today already I've done a courier run, picked up some parcels, dropped off some parcels, done a school run, also edited some video, I've got that going on behind me here just processing, and that's all before 8.30am in the morning, so plenty done already. I've also been through lots and lots of emails, and I'm also planning my coverage of the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 and the Nokia Lumia 830, both of which I started testing yesterday thoroughly enjoying both devices they really are fantastic it's going to take a lot of getting used to the surface pro 3 though because i primarily use mac os 10 so different operating system is always hard to get to grips with but it's a very very nice device i'm really impressed now i also want to let you know what's coming up because i've got deliveries expected today and into next week and i just want to share with you three of the products i've got coming in the first one is the budget GoPro Hero, £99 for this new GoPro Hero. So I've got that coming in because I want to test that and share that with you so you know whether it's worth the £99 because it sounds very cheap but it can still be rubbish. You know, it doesn't have to be good just because it comes from GoPro but for 99 quid, it should really deliver some fantastic performance if you go on past uh, sort of performance of the GoPro cameras. Now I've also got coming in a Sony Xperia Z3. I've already done my coverage of the Z3 Compact, including my review. Please do check that out, by the way. And the Z3 is obviously the larger of the two devices. I'm really looking forward to actually covering that again, thanks to Clove Technology. And then I am going to be starting my coverage of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. And not only am I going to be doing my normal tests on that, including a 4K video test, and a full review of course, but I will also be seeing how that fits into my workflow. I've said this in a couple of videos now, I'm really very, very frustrated with iOS 8. I love my iPhone 6, don't get me wrong, but I'm very frustrated with the bugs in the software, the email situation, things crashing, just not happy at all. It's very, very poor on Apple's part, what they've actually released to us. And I'm gonna be considering switch into the Galaxy Note 4 for mainly for business purposes. I'm still going to always have an iPhone, don't get me wrong. I'm within the Apple ecosystem, I'm always going to carry my iPhone 6, but as a second device, I'm thinking the Galaxy Note 4 could be really good for my important business communications. There you go, it's gone dark again now. Uh, the storm is coming. I digress, but anyway, back to Note 4, it looks like a really interesting device, obviously a very high resolution screen, large screen, metal frame now, so they've improved the build quality, so I'm really looking forward to getting that in, and that should be the latter part of next week, but you'll know that because I'll share that with you in video form when it arrives. So, now I am going to actually do one of the most boring tasks of being self-employed. I've got to sit down in front of a computer and prepare my tax accounts. I am super excited for this one. The Courier just delivered my new GoPro Hero. Now this isn't the GoPro Hero 4. This is the new budget £99 GoPro Hero and it looks really good. I'm super excited to actually get this out of the box and give it a try. And I will share the video with you when I do. But I can't believe that GoPro finally delivered us such a cheap option with what should be really good quality optics and good quality video for such a cheap price. Now something I forgot to talk to you about the other day was the Great British Bake Off programme. And I thoroughly enjoyed the whole series and I was thinking about the format of the programme and how it captured the imagination and of course the views of so many people both in the UK and in other countries as well. And I think it was just great. It took sort of regular people who were in other jobs who had a passion for something else. And in this case, they had a passion for baking. And following them every week and seeing how they progressed through the program and through the challenges they were given to bake beyond probably what they've ever done before 
was really very, very interesting. Now, my favorite was Chetna, and I really hoped she would win, but unfortunately she lost her place the week before the final. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed all of them, of course. There was Martha as well, the young girl who, who got on so well and did brilliantly. And then, of course, it was the final the other day, which was a brilliant, brilliant final. And I just find it amazing the intricacy that these people achieve with their baking. The cakes looked absolutely brilliant, so, so detailed. Uh, and it was just a very, very good program. If you didn't see it and you get a chance to catch up with it on an on-demand service or perhaps there's some clips on YouTube, please do search it out. It was really very, very good indeed. Anyway, the rest of my day, I actually did so, so much and I'm absolutely shattered. I'm just sitting here relaxing at the moment. Again, watching a bit of TV, that's what I like to do, just to relax in the evening. Um, but I did a lot of different videos again today and managed to edit my Lumia 830 unboxing and first look. So that will be up on the channel at the weekend. And I also managed to, in fact, that loop, just to digress backwards, just five seconds, I almost forgot to say, but the Lumi 830 video will actually be up on the channel before you watch this video, so I'll put a link to it in the video description. I also edited my unboxing and first look at the Surface Pro 3. Now, I know it's been available for a while, but it's a new unboxing for me, and I also unboxed the new type cover, and I've been using it off and on throughout the day, because I really do want to give it a fair chance, you know. The Mac platform as a whole is my platform of choice. I've said this in many, many videos. That is what I choose to use. But I'm not going to ignore what else is available. And I had a moan about the mail application in Mac OS X not being up to scratch for professional business use. It's really very bad. I've actually switched over to using AirMail now. But I'm not going to just uh, ignore other platforms. You know, if I find something that works, I mean, I know of somebody who uses the Mac platform and thoroughly loves their Surface Pro 3. And it's in fact replaced their iPad, you know, so and possibly even their MacBook Air as well, which is what it was targeted to do. So if it does that for me, then I will use it. You know, I will get myself one in. The one that I'm actually using at the moment is a review product. But yeah, it's, it's really very good, very, very polished hardware, super thin, uh, nice and light, really well made, responsiveness is really good. What I've hated about the Windows platform before is the constant updates. I've not experienced that yet on the Surface Pro 3. Everything seems to be up to date and running smoothly. So I'm enjoying the experience, but over the next week or so, we, we'll see how it pans out. But I just wanted to share that with you, that I am really enjoying it. With regards to Lumia 830, to give you an update on that, I haven't had much hands-on time of it because I've been quite busy, but I have grabbed about sort of 30 minutes to an hour with it today, and it's really very good. The camera is very, very good indeed, and the platform as a whole is still maturing. I still think there's applications missing that should be there. Uh, an application choice isn't as good as on other platforms, and also finding and discovering applications isn't as good. So that detract, it detracts from it a little bit, but not too much. You know, I'm thoroughly enjoying the hardware, really well made hardware. And don't forget, this isn't a flagship phone. The Lumia 830 is a mid-range or mid-priced phone, but with very, very good specifications. So that's a little update for you. That's what I've been up to today, uh, as well as doing all the regular things and sitting through doing three hours of the accounts that I mentioned to you earlier. What a chore that was, tapping away at a calculator. And I've still got to do all of my accounts and pop them onto a spreadsheet yet just to analyze them and do a tax return. So there's still more to do, but at least I've got most of it done today. Anyway, by the time you watch this, this will be uploaded on Saturday. So I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. I will see you all again in the next video.